from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're joining Kevin Gieske on a thrilling multi-day hunt that a massive Texas red stag led him on. And later, we're joining Michael Worsig on a turkey hunt with a 10-point Havoc RS440 paired with the Garmin Zero X1i crossbow scope. Let's talk about red stag. They're beautiful animals, they're big. We work this property year round, we feed protein. And let me tell you, the red stag love protein. What happens when you have a good feeding program and, and good habitat is game species of all kinds want to come there and, and live. And, and that's really what's happened on our deer lease. And ever since we first got it, we began supplemental feeding programs. But through all of those efforts, especially in the last three to four years, we've seen this explosion of various exotic animals. And case in point is red stag. You know, we've got uh, several of them that now call our basically deer lease home. So I believe this, this uh, stag that Kevin's hunting, it's clear he's, a, he's an escapee from a high fence, but he has been living free range now for six, eight years. So Wade gave me the opportunity to go hunt this guy, and he asked what I want to hunt him with. Well, you know, my first knee-jerk reaction, I'd love to hunt him with a bow. That would prove to be a little more challenging, obviously, but we had several days that we were going to be out at the ranch, and I was going to you know, have several hunts to try to get him. So we went with the bow. We're jumping in on the third day of Kevin's red stag hunt out in an area of the property dubbed the Middle Field. Well, so far, he's seen lots of whitetails and a few red deer appearances, but the red stag he has his sights set on has remained elusive. That's the line. night. I finally got to see in person the stag that we've got pictures of and I mean he is cool. Overall a pretty slow night. We had a bunch of whitetail in front of us, had the nine point. That's a real nice nine point. Going to be great next year. And then here come the stags and the big one that we were looking for. Unfortunately he didn't come close enough to get a shot but that turned out to be pretty cool because we had a great show. I mean, we, they were fighting each other. We had three of them going at it and then they broke up and they had two different groups, two going at it. I mean, it was too cool. So <laughs> that's what hunting is. You, you know, it's not, not necessarily shooting that animal. It's 
seeing them and what they do. And uh, you know, if, if, if we had shot that stag when he first walked out, we would have missed that show. So we'll see, but it was an awesome, awesome hunt. Coming up, Kevin is heading back out to the middle field, determined to get another opportunity at bringing home this incredible animal. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast. There's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Trade hours for seconds. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. It's been another two days since our red stag made an appearance, but that doesn't mean Kevin hasn't been treated to some exciting displays of nature at its finest. Here's a recap of another outing Kevin went on while we were away. Here we are again, although today we're a little earlier than yesterday. The difference today between yesterday, the wind, there is no wind at all. So yesterday we had a cool whitetail fight going on in front of us for a little while. That was good entertainment and had white tail all around us. So it was good sit. The highlight of yesterday, we had a big old odd dad come in and that was pretty awesome. Uh, I like, like watching odd dad, love to see their chaps. This was a beautiful one. He came out across the field from us, actually bedded down. They like doing a dirt bath in a sense. So he laid in the dirt for a little bit. The hinds at five o'clock, they came out. We thought, oh, this is good. Maybe the boys will follow, unfortunately. Right at dark, one of the smaller stags came out with the hinds, but that was it. We didn't see the big guy. But we've had fun sits on the field. You never know what you're going to see. Like I said, the difference between then and today is today is dead still, so we're not going to move at all, and we'll see what comes in. But here we go. It's another day sitting what we call the middle field. Well, we saw them again. We had, I think, six hinds and their, and their babies come out, and uh, one spike. They crossed the field right in front of us. Uh, would have been perfect. And then a little bit, quite a bit later, here comes the guy we want to see. Now, he didn't, he didn't come out where they came out. He came out uh, on the left side of the field from us. He crossed over and joined them. Uh, and, you know, out of our last hunts, every night, they have conned back in front of us, back from our left to our right and he was right there with them. Problem is, they were at about 50 yards and I don't feel comfortable shooting that far. So it was a good sit again. They're just crossing a hair too far out of my range with a bow. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it again, but that was our night. 
After several days of hunting, the team decided it was time to make some changes to the hunting area. As we head to break, let's see how Wade spices up the middle field before Kevin returns. One thing that's very important to me is taking care of and managing a property. And part of the way I like to manage a property is ensure we've got a supplemental feed program, especially in parts of Texas that uh, the natural forage and, and you know availability of things for deer and other game to eat is, is limited. And so what I do is ensure that I can, you know, kind of assist Mother Nature. And there's people out there that dislike that, and that's okay. You know, there's no, that's totally your choice. But for me personally, I want to do everything I possibly can to make that game that I have on my property be in better shape and healthier and allow us to have more hunting opportunities. And there's no question in my mind that it pays off when you uh, actively and aggressively work on a program like that. And this is what we call the middle field. And it's, it's really stressful right now from the lack of rain. Kevin's been in here actually hunting uh, free range red deer that have taken up residence on this property. And uh, so far he hasn't had luck on the hunt. We're hoping that's gonna change. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is actually put out a couple of these blocks right here from Record Rack. These deer blocks right here, um, you know, they're very, palatable to deer. They're not so hard to feel like you're going to break your teeth when they're eating it. They've got uh, a great wild berry flavor. You can actually smell it when you open them up. And I'm going to open both of these up and I'm going to put them out here kind of in the center part of this, this food plot or this dry pile of dirt right now, hoping that those stag or a big white tail or something will kind of change this pattern and get a little closer. But regardless if it does or doesn't, anything that's going to come in here and eat it is going to get some mineral and some uh, nutritional benefit out of it. So it's a two-fold effort. We're trying to get something closer into bow range for this stand right here, while also providing some supplemental feed for our game. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions, as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. The Thompson Center Compass II. A feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Angle, the original high-performance cooler. 10-point crossbows, perfection lives here. Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven. High-vis shooting systems, see what you've been missing. All right, well, I think this is set number eight, I'm sitting in this field. We have uh, seen our shooter, Red Stag, twice, but I'm trying to hunt with my bow and uh, I need him to get closer. He's been out 50 yards. I'd like 35 on the outside just because it's a big animal and that's a long throw. I feel like I have a better chance of being more accurate if I'm in that 35 yard range. So we'll see if he'll come by. So today what we did was we've thrown some record rack mineral blocks out to see maybe if that would be kind of an attractant that would pull them in a little closer. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, it's the middle field. So when we went out to stand there, we threw those blocks out about, you know, 25 yards or so, and they clicked on, the hinds show up like they have been, like clockwork, and they work their way across the field. They don't come over and see me, but, you know, that's okay. I get to watch them cross the field. We have whitetail milling around around us, and lo and behold, here he is.
I'm in disbelief. Like, okay, fine, there he is. And what's he going to do? He's going to walk over to the hinds because that's what they do. He doesn't. He comes right, right at me. I cannot believe that just happened. I don't know what to tell you. We've hunted, I guess, eight or nine days. We've seen them two or three times in this field. They have been all kinds of spooky. We've seen the hinds come out with their babies and he's come with them. Today he comes out. The hinds, I never, they're here. They're, they're, they're back over here. They didn't cross the field like normal. And he comes out by himself. Instead of working to them, he comes over this way and he stands right in front of me at probably 20 yards, 22 yards head on. And he finally turns broadside and gives me a shot. And it looked good. The arrow falls out. I've got my knock sitting out here. He runs at the end of the field and, and he goes down. <laughs> that is the most exciting hunt I've ever been on. I cannot believe it. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> There's our arrow. I didn't get a lot of, oh, it broke off. Broke off in him. Is this not cool or what? Is this not cool or what? Here he is, free range Texas red stag with my bow and a broken arrow. What do you guys think? Look at this guy. Here he is. I can't hardly hold him up. Didn't make it to the edge of the field. We spent a week and a half watching him. Here he is, right here. I am very excited. He's got a tag in his ear. He, he, got, uh, he got off of some game ranch at some point when he was a little baby because we watched him grow up. And uh, he's been here, this is a low fence ranch. He's been here for a long time. Now, I'm gonna put him on the wall and we're gonna have a lot of great meat. Ah, I can't believe it. Congratulations, Kevin. This beautiful red stag is a perfect example of the reward that comes with patience and perseverance in hunting. As we head to break, Wade is here to give us some insight into the evolution of the Garmin Zero. So the Garmin Zero concept and the abilities to have a, a ranging sight that could tell you the exact distance and give you a precise aiming point to that exact distance was a phenomenal feature that I was kind of like, well, that's a pipe dream. Sure enough, it evolved, it happened. Garmin built it uh, with the Garmin Zero both side. And so as I, as I look at that, it's just a, an amazing modern piece of technology, but it's a piece of technology that still has to be driven by you, the hunter. So as the hunter, it can do everything perfectly Perfect, but you've got to control those emotions. You've got to control the sweaty palms, the pounding, uh, the hard and the shaky knees and, and make that perfect shot. It's only going to tell you where to aim. And now when we flip that script and we start looking at the Garmin Zero crossbow sight, I mean, wow is, is the only thing that, there's not a word that I can throw out there to make it an explanation without you seeing it, without you getting inside it and looking at it and seeing the pinpoint accuracy that this side is gonna give you and the comfort and confidence level in using something like this Garmin Zero crossbow side is it's amazing. I mean, it just gives me a constant aiming point every time, there's no guess. If you want perfect, consistent accuracy and you're gonna hunt with a crossbow, this is the site for you. Learn more about the Garmin Zero at Garmin.com. 
Introducing the first crossbow with a built-in range-finding scope. Tenpoint and Garmin deliver the most accurate long-range crossbow ever. Exact aim, any distance, range, aim, and kill at 470 feet per second. The new Vapor RS470. Learn more at 10pointcrossbows.com. I love my Fusion Wireless camera. It is the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything is done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion Wireless camera from Stealth Cam. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Outdoor Action TV. Stream your favorite shows. Record Rack. Serious Nutrition. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, it's early December, and Michael Wersig is taking the 10-point Havoc RS440, paired with a Garmin Zero X1i crossbow scope, out to the field with the hopes of bringing home a Rio Grande turkey. The area we're hunting is called the Dead Oak, and that area specifically is just one over the past couple years that it just holds a lot of game, whether it's whitetail, exotics, or turkey, there's always stuff coming up and down that creek. And one thing I love about hunting in Texas is that we have opportunities to take turkey in the fall. Another different thing about hunting in the fall for turkey is just the way that they group up. You know, you'll see a big group of toms and you'll see a big group of hens, but they're not always intermixed. It's kind of like they just, they go their separate ways for that part of the year. Look at that guy, look at that beard. You know, that's one of the cool things about hunting here in Texas is it's deer season and you're mainly hunting for deer, but if a turkey walks by, it's perfectly legal to take a turkey here in Texas this time of year. You know, not only do we get to hunt them in the spring, but we can also take them in the fall. And I mean, if it gets you excited, I think that's what you go ahead and shoot. He got out there 23 yards away. I'm hunting with the uh, 10 point Havoc and the Garmin Zero sight on it. He's 23 yards away, I range him, and make a good shot on him. He doesn't go that far. That's just a fun hunt. It's uh, just a beautiful bird. Extremely blessed to be able to come out here hunt this evening. I got Rusty with me, the camera guy, and heck, we'll get him loaded back up. We'll text Wade and them, let them know we had a successful hunt, and uh, get him cleaned and probably have us a good dinner tomorrow. So. 
Coming from the archery side of things, the Garmin Zero has been out for a while and I've had the ability to use it, to see how it works. So you take that and you put it on the crossbow and it's the same exact thing. It's just taking the guesswork out of it. It's very easy to set up. It's just simple, effective, and accurate. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard. And to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. God made a deer farmer, a person who stays up at night to save a sick fawn's life, gets up and still goes to work at sunrise. This person works in the heat, the cold, and the rain. He needs to feed his animals, make sure they have water. If the water's frozen, he must break it so they can drink. He needed somebody to collect real scents and smells from deer, to provide hunting scents to the hunters so they could feed their families. So God made a deer farmer.